so I, I didn't die. Uh, but you know what we never did is we never tried out the sword, the looting one. So we're going to do that now. It has smite 5 too, which I almost think I could one hit kill these guys with if I do a critical. We'll try it out. Uh, never used looting before, so... Nice yeah, one hit. You see that? Sometimes. Not every time. Seem to be getting more... One, two... One... Two, I think. Two gold nuggets. This is perfect for these guys. Oh, that guy dropped four. Check it out. Normally they drop zero to one, so we got four that time. Give me your gold. Another four. Uh, looks like that one dropped three. Not a bad way of getting gold. Ouch. Uh, a lot of people keep telling me to make a zombie pigman gas farm in the nether. Trust me guys, it's in the plans. Has been for a long, long time. Uh, like over half a year already. Even in my old world, I started making a mob system in the nether. But uh, yeah, just never finished it. I was actually surprised when I uploaded my last... Uh, or when I put my world up for download the last time. I thought I was going to get a lot of comments about the half slabs in the nether. But nobody seemed to notice. So uh, we'll get to it eventually. It's a big project though. But today we're going to be working on the potion system, or our brewing room, I guess you'd call it. So I'm going to get out of here. How do we do? We got 36 from that. That's pretty good. What is that? That's four gold ingots. Why isn't this working? Come on. Yeah, I think uh, looting I would most like to use on the zomb zombie pigmen and on creepers for gunpowder. Seriously, why isn't my blaze farm working? There we go. That took a long time. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to the potion. Alright, here we are again. Home sweet home. I think next time I go to the nether, I'm going to get some strength potions and bring that sword and we'll be able to one-hit kill them for sure. Uh, uh, by the time I got back, I had two stacks of those gold nuggets because I killed a bunch more on my way back. Went really quick. But yeah, last last episode we were talking about our potion room here. We figured ten brewing stands was a good number to have for mass production. Uh, because by the time you get to the end, the one you started with should be about done. Uh, we also figured out that we're going to have a water source block above in the center so that filling these with water bottles will be a lot less tedious. They'll all be where we're standing so we won't have to go pick them up and put them in the stands. They'll just be right there for us. But now, today, the second key of the puzzle or the second main plan I didn't look in this chest last time because I didn't want to spoil it but yeah we're gonna be you we're gonna be using dispensers okay I figured this out on paper here there's seven main ingredients uh, for making the potions I think there's seven main different potions as well with different degrees of the potion of each potion but anyway we will have blaze powder Gas tears, gliss, glycerin melons, is that how you say it? Magma cream, spider eyes, sugar, and fermented spider eyes. Those are the seven basic ingredients for making potions. And then there's uh, three additional ingredients to enhance the potions. Redstone, glowstone, and gunpowder if we want to make it a splash potion. So that's a total of ten different things so far. But then there will also be dispensers for the nether wart. So uh, 
that's 11, and then there'll also be dispensers for the glass bottles. So, this is what I want to happen. When I walk into the potion room, there's going to be a bunch of storage chests. Probably four double chests or so for each uh, potion type, so the, out of the seven potion types, the main, the main branches. So that'll be about 28 chests or more right when you walk in then you'll walk to the end of the potion room and we'll have this uh, semicircle of brewing stands there'll be one off the ground underneath each of these I'll have a button the buttons will go up to a, an array of dispensers so most of these will have 10 dispensers each so you hit a button then 10 dispensers get activated and 10 let's say nether wart will fall down the water above us onto us then we'll put the 10 in the brewing stands and then say we wanted to make uh, haste potions we would push push another button to get 10 sugar to fall down onto us I don't know that's the plan we'll see how it goes here I'm gonna move this stuff over more to the right though because I will need a bit of space for the wiring and it'll probably go further back too so we'll have some area in the front to put our storage chests because there'll be a lot of them you can't stack these potions so we need a lot of storage space for mass production alright so I got uh, a bit more space cleared out here we'll probably have to clear some more I just want to show you what I've been doing here though because I, I want to finish this wall up kind of before I position the potion room just so you know we're not fidgeting with it afterward so I punched holes through it put some iron bars and and it just kinda copies the the greenhouse or whatever we have over here the pumpkin farm so it goes lava water lava lava water lava right and then over here I'm gonna explain this to you uh, around my world every so often I'm gonna have these uh, dispenser stations and they will have potions inside and I'll walk up they'll give me a potion chug it good to go uh, when I get more established I'll be filling these with the splash potions so if you didn't know this already maybe we'll make some see how this works make sure it works too uh, you can make any potion a splash potion by just putting gunpowder in so this will become splash splash potions of swiftness it does reduce the length that it lasts though by I think it's three quarters of the original so yeah I'll have yeah it's this a redstone and redstone dust here powers this block which powers the dispenser so that's how that works and we'll have uh, one over here as well for instant health just to I need to I need to make this some space here so had to put something for decoration so this is a good functioning decoration and I'm gonna color code these too so let's make this light blue so I don't mix them up we'll get some light blue dye I would use it on a sheep but uh, I don't have any sheep around yeah this will be light blue then the potion of instant health we will do red because that's what color it is and we'll have that over here a little dispenser station and I have these inset one block just so that if any mobs are wandering around they're a lot less likely to step on the pressure plates and I didn't wire that anyway so then I'll have the wooden planks extend out here further oops that's not a plank to the potion room and then I think uh, what we'll do is kinda of figure out the shape uh, we should put some glowstone here too just to brighten it up see how this looks Yeah, it's a little bit better. Might put some signs on these blocks. 
then we will try to get some curve going on here. So we'll curve it in. Maybe like that. Actually, I don't know if I want the door that small. And I did count. There's actually eight uh, main potions, not seven like I thought. So we'll probably just have ten sets of chests and like... Uh, Mm. Maybe four double chests for each potion type, so we'll have two extras for like glass bottles and stuff, and then ah, oh, whatever. You'll see. You'll see what I mean. I'm rambling a lot here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make this wider. Maybe we'll do. Yeah, let's do sliding piston doors. I like those. There. And then the wall will continue. This uh, wooden stuff will go in. Somehow. Thinking of maybe doing a steam similar to my original storage room in this potion room. Like with the checkered wood and planks. Or, or chests, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. So we'll walk in, we'll have chests on the right and left probably. Then further back we'll have the stands. So uh, let me work on this a bit because I uh, don't have much done yet. And hopefully it'll get better. Alright guys, I thought I'd give you a little update of what I've been doing here. Just been messing around trying to figure out a good layout that I'm happy with. Uh, I'm not building this on camera just because this potion room would drag on over quite a few episodes if I did and it still might because it's a big project but uh, I'll show you this dispenser thing we got our energy drink slogans run faster for the swiftness potions and we have live longer for the instant health potions so let's walk in dispense it They're both empty uh, stair prevents you from being able to walk in the middle here and it looks nice wasn't happy with how the glowstone looked it didn't seem to light or uh, brighten up the area very much for some reason I don't know why um, so I put lava here and that I it won't burn the wool because I have blocks on all six sides of the wool so even though it looks like it's exposed it's not so that's the trick behind that and behind it we even have a crafting bench hidden which is very nice because I always I'm always running around looking for crafting benches. I need to start putting them around the place more often. All right, so uh, then this is the layout for inside. I was going to do a sliding door type thing. I realized though that I need to make it an odd number. I can't have an even two block entrance here. It either it has to be one block entrance, but I thought that would be uh, very cramped feeling so I'm gonna try and make a three block three by three door sliding door entrance never done that before so it'll be fun you walk in and then we'll have chests on the right these will get stacked on top of each other blah 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 slurring my words together so in 1.0.0 you can stack chests on top of each other now is really awesome. So I might go three chests high. We'll see how that looks. I was thinking four originally, but that might just get crazy. And something like that. Kind of wanted to color code uh, the chest too, but then that would take more space. Hmm. I don't know think about it. This is what's on the back behind the dispenser area. Okay, and you can see we're running into the pumpkin farm here, so I might move this all over one or two blocks to the right. Cause this looks really sharp, this edge too, so it should be oops, should be probably three blocks wide here and then it'll start caving in. And then the potion stuff, the half, the semicircle will be here, type thing. Okay. 
Oh, and uh, yeah, let's try out the potions. I almost forgot. So it was three minutes before. Now it's two minutes and 15 seconds. What can I toss? Let's try it out. I've never shot one of these out of a dispenser before. Yeah, three quarters of the time. That's what that is. Here we go. Did it hit me? It did. And we got we got the full 215. Good. Cool. So I'd like to have a few of these dispensing stations around my world every every so often. So that if you want a speed boost, you just walk into it and then take off type thing. And they look kind of cool, in my opinion. Right, so I'll work some more and hopefully get a bunch more done. I'm going to show you the 3x3 three three piston door I made. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's still in rough format. I left it open so you can see what's happening. Closes. That's the opening. I might slow it down like half that speed because I, I had it slower before and it seemed to open a lot better. It's cool how it closes, but uh, when it opens it's not it's not really even, you know. So there'll be a row of pressure plates here to walk on, and then when you go through there'll be another row over here. Like that. And I'm going to do this kind of fancy. When I walk in, door will open. Then I walk. when I walk on this set of pressure plates, it'll close. And it will also lock the door. So if anything on this side tries to get in by walking on the pressure plates, it'll stay closed. It will only unlock when I walk back out. That's the plan. Uh, I'll run through the wiring quickly here if you want to check it out. I'm not going to explain it. It's just basic delays. And obviously, this isn't set up right. I need to add T flip flops and RS Nor latches and all that fun stuff. But there's uh, eight pistons total. And the center is going to stay open. I don't think it's a big deal. It's more for uh, looks than anything goes up here and I think all the wiring is out of the way so it shouldn't interfere with anything I hope and that's it can we kill it seems to be pretty resilient okay good Yeah, I should have known this door has given me a lot of hassle. Spent a lot of time on it and had it almost working right, but the thing is I'd walk on the pressure plates and it would take like three seconds to open. The wiring was pretty slow. So I decided to just do a button. You press it, it opens for about four or five seconds and it closes. There's a little bit of a delay before you can press it again too. But it's 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 a lot simpler this way. Uh, big problem I had was space. This stupid thing was in the way of my wiring. But it just comes down to an RS Nor latch here with a delay on it. I think it's a four second delay if I remember right. And that's it. And this is the layout I've kind of decided upon. This is chests over on both sides. There'll be probably three high, three chests, double chests stacked on top of each other. And then we have the cauldrons or brewing stands over here. And I probably won't do this out of stone brick like I have here. I just use this for the layout. Um, I wanted to try to keep it more woodish if I could. So I'll play around with it some more and I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Yeah, actually, before I play around with the looks of this place, I'm going to try set up uh, the actual station here. Uh, I got water above already. I just added that. And buttons. Lots and lots of buttons. So yeah, there's about eight different types of potions. Like main types. And different degrees of each of those, of course. And that's not counting base potions, like awkward potions. Uh, so got eight of those and then there's ten brewing stands here but there'll be twelve buttons total for the twelve main ingredients we're gonna need here uh, I've already decided that I want this button here to dispense glass bottles so when we press it thirty will fall from above onto us here and uh, we can fill them at this water here the They'll be thrown straight up, and then we can just go around, place them inside, nice and easy. I can reach all these, right? Yeah. So all the glass bottles will be here. It'll be easy to fill them. And then each of these will dispense a different ingredient. I know this one I want to dispense nether wart, so if you press it, then 10 nether wart will fall down. And... You can make awkward potions, and say you want um, to make haste potions, maybe this will dispense 10 sugar. Then you go around, fill them all up, and that's how it's going to work, ideally. So I'll have to wire this. I think I should set up the dispenser area above here. But yeah, I'm going to do that next time, maybe. Uh, really be uploading this episode right now so we'll just maybe do a little bit of filler to make that happen it's a bit short I wanted to try uh, what was that strength potions in the nether with that sword so give me a second to get that together yeah all right here we are this is gonna be fun we got we got our awesome sword we got strength potions Swiftness potions and fire resistant potions. So we're just gonna dominate this place. Chug down. I think you can yeah, you can use more than one at a time. Man. Unstoppable. Oh, I guess we still gotta crit them. And we can just run through the fire. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> so overpowered. And then we got our iron armor on that won't break ever. Take almost no damage. Because it's so imbalanced in 1.0. Oh, here's an army. Don't even have to dodge. This is awesome. <laughs> this levels him. Man. Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing. Yeah, I like it. Alright guys, well that was fun. Uh, I might stick around and do that a little bit longer, but I'm going to say goodbye to you for now, and hopefully next time we'll finish the potion room or something. Um, am I still... Yeah, still invulnerable. <laughs> but for today I'm going to say goodbye, like I said already, and... See you again next time. Thanks for watching.